a song that I wrote from a childhood memory that I got to revisit about four years ago. When I was, uh, my father was in the Air Force. <clears throat> when I was about seven years old, uh, when I was six, we moved to northern England, a very remote station. It was a bunch of missiles aimed at Russia. And my dad was the commander of several of them, so if the shit had ever hit the fan, then uh, dad would have been one of the button pushers. But fortunately, it didn't happen. And we got to see an amazing part of the world. And if you haven't been to England, it is a very much worth the trip. But a couple of years ago, actually in 2006, my daughter was going to school in London. And we went, my wife, Garcelle, and I went to visit her for a week. And we took part of the week and rented a car and drove through up to northern England where we had lived and then eventually up to Edinburgh, Scotland, which is a totally magical place also. But there was a place on the northern coast of England, on the northeast coast, on the North Sea, the ruins of an old abbey, an amazing stone structure that I'm told was built probably around 500 AD and was destroyed by the Vikings from Scandinavia in about 800. But in 600, they had some sort of important church council where they declared the formula by which we still use to this day to determine when Easter is going to be. It has something to do with the phases of the moon or something. Anyway, the, the ruins of the, the abbey that I saw, it's called Whitby Abbey. And um, years ago, when I first started composing in this tuning, which is D-A-D-G-A-D -A -D -A -D for your dad, dad, for your guitar type, um, I wrote this. And it's called Whitby Abbey, about a place in northern England that doesn't really exist anymore. <laughs> 